Sixteen is the number of photographs in this story. Sixteen is the age of Perihan, the shepherd girl, who gave us a tour of the ancient Roman city of Selge and revealed to us her dream. I was nervous about asking my father to borrow the car to visit Selge. I don't think he had much confidence in me. So, as usual, I asked my mother to ask him. To my surprise, he consented. So my wife and I prepared for the journey. We slowly climbed up 2,000 meters of the Taurus Mountains in southern Turkey using the directions in a Lonely Planet travel book. The landscape was absolutely stunning. We followed the Eurymedon River and passed old Roman walls still being used by farmers. This could have been a scene from 200 BC except for the plastic tarp on the woodpile. It was exciting, but a little scary. The car was getting pounded by rocks and passing streams. I was starting to freak out we would break the axle and get stranded, and my father would kill me. Even the cliffs looked like strange ruins, or temples of some kind. And just as we reached the top of the cliff, we were suddenly waved down by a man and a young girl that were standing on the side of the road. The girl offered to give us a tour of the ruins. Her name was Perihan, which means little princess. The man was silent. We accepted a bit nervously and parked the car by their farmhouse. The ruins of Selge were surrounded by a mist that sparkled in the sunlight and made it seem like Mount Olympus. I felt like a 19th century explorer discovering a lost kingdom. Perihan showed us the Agora, the marketplace, where there were still iron rings embedded in the stone where the animals and carts were chained up. I mainly took photos while my wife and Perihan would walk and talk together. Her English was surprisingly good. We were fascinated by Selge, but also curious about Perihan. After spending the whole day exploring every part of the city, we asked Perihan what it was like to live and work in such a breathtaking and isolated place. She told us it was summer, so she was not at school, and that generally she helps her father tend the sheep that roam freely through the ruins. She even brought us over to see her favorite ones, a mother with its young lamb. She asked if my wife would like to hold the lamb in her hands. My wife agreed, having never held one before. She then introduced us to her father, who was tending sheep and comfortably barefoot. He seemed like a character straight out of The Hobbit. Before we left, Perihan and my wife had a long conversation. Perihan revealed her dream. More than anything else, she wanted to become educated to get a job, and that way help her family move out of Selye. This surprised us at first. I guess we had sort of painted Perihan and her dad into the landscape like happy little peasants in a fairy tale. In reality, what was exotic for us was an economic dead end for them. We exchanged addresses and wished her best of luck. But as I think about it, it seems to me that all of us have a Selge we're trying to leave, the ruins of what we were. And we all have a dream. 
of something we want to become. We followed the Eurymedon back down to the bustling vacation spots on the southern coast. Just as in ancient times, the river was carrying rich nutrients down from the mountain to feed the farms and valleys below, before finally emptying out into the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> 